Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Primal Sharp Fracture Imaging. Primal Sharp Fracture are readily diagnosed and usually do not require internal fixation. Homebrew shaft fracture account for 3 to 5 percent of all fracture. Although they occur in all age group, a B-model distribution is noted. The first peak is seen in the third decade in male and the second peak in the seventh decade in female. Most frequently, Neumbron sharp fracture occur as a result of a direct blow to the upper arm. Indirect trauma from a fall or a twisting action is also encountered and usually result in spiral or oblique fracture. The higher the impact strength, the more likely the fracture is to be commuted. The minority are open fracture, 2 to 10 percent. The most common associated injury is damage to the larger nerve, particularly with Arsten Lewis fracture. On account of it, very close relationship to the posterior aspect of the bone, are running in the spiral groove between the lateral and major head of the tricep muscle. The major pressure artery median and ulnar nerve are much less common. Although transfer fractures are usually trivially easy to identify, Oblique or spiral fracture can be very difficult to identify in a single view. The radiographic theory comprise an AP and a lateral projection to allow adequate assessment of the, of the inclination, displacement, and shortening. In the essential both the shoulder joints and the elbow joints are included to assess for proximal or distal extension of the fracture. This radiograph shows a non displaced transfer fracture of the humerus midsa. This AP and Latra humerus radiograph transfer midsa. Humeral fracture with major displacement and internal major inclination of the distal fragment. Minimal impaction. This is an ultrasound. It is the long axis of the distal metadiaphysis. Visual region, upright humerus, we show a bridge in the cortex. This is a wide gap at the fracture site in 
short as this view. Treatment and prognosis. Homerosa fracture are usually treated with a supportive hanging as followed by a supportive spleen and frequently require open reduction although anatomical reduction is not easily achieved. Significantly angulation 20 degree can be tolerated with high with little functional impairment. Similarly, up to 3 by CM of shortening is in many cases unsuitable. Open reduction internal fixation is required in a number of scenarios include adequate Alignment cannot be maintained. Open fracture, patient of vascular injury, segment fracture, floating elbow, patient of significant other injury, non-union pathological fracture. Thank you.